Hey Glam Fam, what's up? So today I am doing this easy, literally effortless makeup look using all liquid lips. So if you want to see how I got this eye look, let's keep on watching. My son wanted to do the intro, so I'm going to give it over to him. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey Glam Flam. Flam? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Glam Fam. What's up? If you want to see my f mom do a awesome holiday glam, just keep on watching. Let's do this. Insert the intro right now. I just want to show you all. I don't want to do you wrong. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the flies of them all? I just wanted to show you guys that what I've been doing for my brows. So I start off with an L pencil, shape them the way I want. Then add this Kat Von D 24-hour um, brow in the color Walnut on top with a nice, precise EcoTools uh, angled brush. And then what I do is I take this fluffy brush, dip it in some translucent powder, and just go over it. And then when I'm done, then I just dust it off with any old brush, dust the baking powder off. It makes my brows look soft and more natural, and it keeps them on all freaking day. This is super fast for you guys because the whole point of the video is for it to be a super fast tutorial where you guys who are busy and need to get out the door can do a glam look without wasting any time. So I wasn't going to do my foundation and primer, but I figured I'll just do that like quick going with the Smashbox Primerizer Photo Finish as my primer. And I'm also going to mix it with the Smashbox Radiance Primer just for a glow. So just the two, just a little bit, just like that much. Now that my primer's all on, I'm going to try this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the color tan. Let me know if you guys tried this. I got this from Sephora as a free gift, and I figured I'd give it a shot with you guys right here. Anybody likes, dislikes, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it on my hand as so, take my absolute fave foundation brush, which is my Morphe M439 a must-have brush, swirl it around, and just start buffing it in as fast as possible. This is a nice, I'm feeling this foundation. With my um, Too Faced Sculpting Concealer in Light Beige, like I don't even use Shape Tape anymore, maybe as a, for cut creases or whatever, but Shape Tape who? Because this concealer is everything. <laughs> my beauty blender today to buff this in sometimes I use a brush but today I um don't want to use a brush that you guys might not have see this part you can take it in those corners I usually use my fingers too as well then I'm just gonna take a brush my foundation brush and I'm gonna go right where underneath where I laid that concealer that way I don't have any harsh lines to take this and we're gonna go just like this see how why this brush is so amazing I think I paid four dollars for this or five dollars it's just like the Morphe one. It's shaped just like it. And then I'm going to bake the side of my nose. And then I'm going to bake under here as well. This is a Too Faced Ethereal setting powder, by the way. So my mature friends, don't be scared. This doesn't give you a powdery look afterwards. Now we're going to get into the look. This is going to go by super fast. You guys are going to be blown away. But we are going to take... Yes, I said it. We're going to take Jeffree Star's Rich Blood and we're going to take a couple drops and put it in our crease. Just like that. And you got to work with it right away. So take any old blender and start working in the in the crease right away. <laughs> And yes, Jeffree Star liquid lips are eye safe. Yay! Do set pretty fast. I'm gonna concentrate on my outer V. I'm just gonna stick my little finger. Don't worry about the beak. And I'm gonna go like that, just to give it more of a precise cut. So easy, so, so easy. This is too easy. Because we're going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to, for this, go into the James Charles palette with the side of my brush. 
just because I want to kind of clean up those corners. See? We're going to take our blendy side and I just want to soften this up a bit. So I'm going to take this warm color right here and I'm just going to go around where I laid that liquid lip. This is going to give you an eye look that's going to stay on all day as well as being fast. Is I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush really fast and just blend, blend, blend everything. We are going to go in with the shade from Jeffree Star called Pussy Whoops. That's what he said. And we are going to draw our cut crease. Don't worry about the edges right now. Just worry about getting the liquid lip on fast. And we're gonna take it all the way. Speaking of this technique, Huda's coming out with those new shadows that like you can do your eyeshadow in a minute. And I figured I'm getting those, so no shade Huda. But you can do this for now. To blend the outer edges. For that, I'm just gonna take my Morphe M433 brush and I'm just gonna go right in here. And just the outer edges, we're not gonna like do anything crazy. We don't wanna lose the pigment that we have from the pussy whooped color. I feel cringy every time I say that. You know how I am, a teensy weensy black, teensy weensy black. And I'm just gonna tap it. All right there. Just tapping it. finger and I'm just gonna smooth that black out so there's no lines I'm just gonna fade it out I'm gonna dust off our bake of pointed buffer and just dusting off that bake so I just want to make sure all this powders off before we work on the lower lash line we're gonna go into the face and for the face don't call me crazy don't press stop I have done this before I have never had any issues didn't break out nothing I'm going in with the liquid wet and wild cat suit liquid lip and I am contouring with it. Yes, I said it. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna go right there. So I recommend using a beauty blender, one that you preferably don't use with your foundation. You get in it quick because this liquid lipstick will set. And it won't look muddy. It's gonna look amazing. And wait until we put powder over it and spray. That was in the shade, the one for the contour was in the shade Caramel Cake was the one I contoured with. The one I'm gonna use as blush is Give Me Mocha. So what I'm gonna do is fast, three dots, three dots, that's it. And then I'm gonna take the same beauty blender and start buffing it out. Now we are done blending all that. So what we are going to do is to take a powder brush and go into a little bit of powder, not a lot. I mean like, and even tap it. And we're just gonna go over it. Just so it doesn't look so harsh. Look at that. See how beautiful that looks? And I'm gonna draw this line. Then with my beauty blender, the tip, I'm going to buff it to the side. Take a little bit of powder again from the tip. And we're gonna go over it. And we're gonna wait a little bit. And now we are gonna apply highlighter. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be using a liquid lip for highlighter. Hey, my Kylie Halloween highlighter. I love this highlighter. And I'm going to apply it with my Beauty Blender because it gives you that perfect glow from within. You can always use a highlighting brush, but this is just another technique that I love. And I'm just gonna go into it. And I'm just gonna, see? And definitely down the bridge of my nose where we contoured. Whew. And then I'm going to take the flat side and buff it down.
take my finger to calm this down. Now we are going to do our lower lash line. For that, we are, will not be using liquid lips. We are going to go into the James Charles palette one, once again. Our Morphe M433, and we are going to go into that first red shade. Remember, with reds, after red, after you smoke out your lash line with red, you have to go in with a black. Because if you don't, you're going to look like you have an eye infection. And bring it all the way up to the outer V and keep buffing. You want to hold the lower end of the tip to buff. But we won't go in with black. We'll go in with this deeper color right here top, just to deepen it up. Bring it into the outer V. Our inner corner. For that, I wanted to use a gold. So I'm gonna take a little tiny brush and I'm definitely gonna spray it. And then go into the Morphe James Charles palette again and I'm gonna take this gold color right here. Actually, yeah. And I'm gonna just lay that right there, wet like that. And I want you to just bring it even in there a little bit and down there just a little bit. Optional, you don't have to do this step. I am going to take the Pop Peel Off Eyeliner by Too Faced Cosmetics in the color Hey Mr. DJ. And I am gonna go right around where I put that cut crease and then just wing it out just a tad, just to give it a little extra something. I am going somewhere today, so I am gonna blend it out a little bit. Like, sometimes you do a straight line, but I'm doing a little, I want it a little bit dispersed. We're going to go ahead and add mascara. You steal a huge extreme lash mascara. I am going to take P Whooped and I am going to just take the applicator and flip it over and go right against my brow line. And then I'm gonna take my finger, not a brush, and tap it in. Me today, I am going to go into the color Avenue by Color. I'm gonna insert a picture of my mother, my beautiful mother right here. because she was the inspo for this look. I just wanted to figure out a way to do it with liquid lipsticks because the liquid lipstick way is much easier, especially for beginners. Pigment, and it's a matte liquid lip, you always wanna open up your lips like this and get in those cracks. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, peace. I love you guys so, so much.